One of the interesting things for, for me is that I, I work in a very integrated system. So the Welsh Health Service is, is an integrated model. Um, so, uh, so I sit with people around a table every day where we talk about the whole system from um, community care, through primary care, secondary care, what's going on in our um, district general hospitals, and then what's happening in terms of home care. Um, so, so I feel good actually uh, when I talk to colleagues in a European um, context that, that we have those kind of conversations, that we look at integrated pathways and we try to focus on the patient for the whole of their journey. Um, what I'm learning from my European partners is that often they achieve incredible levels of productivity in a particular part of the system. So you know, hearing some really interesting things about productivity in hospital but they're, they're struggling, um, and perhaps struggling more than we are in Wales, to connect the dots between organisations um, because, because they have more fractured approaches. Um, so, um, so actually we're finding very quickly that there are, there are things that I can help with in terms of thinking about models for helping them to see the patient through the entire pathway. And so that, that's really exciting. Um, the, the other thing um, that, that's really good is that we're we're not just having conversations here about how we react to events as they are, we're also talking about how we can fundamentally change demand pressures. Um, so we've just been having a conversation about early stage cancer diagnosis. Um, you know, in, in a lot of our systems still, too many people present at stage three and four with cancers that are often inoperable or might require palliative care treatment everybody's really focused on how do we shift the pattern of presentation to uh, you know, early realisation in the community and early presentation into health systems. So there's, there's a lot of comparative data, we'll all look, we're all looking with interest to Denmark, um, but then we've got really interesting comparative stories between Germany, Switzerland, England, Wales and Scotland as well, so you know, that's, that's just fascinating.